Hi everyone. Happy New Year. I know it's a bit late, but Happy New Year nonetheless. All right. So I wanted to make a video about internship and what it was for me, um, my 2021, which was really a medical internship that lasted from January to December. So those who have left medical school, this is what they will need to know, right? All right. Next step. What's the next step? The next step after medical school is medical internship. And you will have four rotations, pediatrics, obstetric and gynecology, medicine, and surgery. And you will rotate through these rotations, these services, and you spend three months, well, here in Jamaica, you spend three months on each rotation. Spending three months on each rotation means every morning you will, well, the day is from eight to four, roughly, roughly right? And being from eight to four in the mornings, what will happen is you will round with your consultants or your residents, go through all the patients' information, and you will get that you'll have your to-do list you'll write down what they have said you will do that carry out the to-do list for the rest of the day that's really what you'll do if there are any patients to be admitted you'll admit those patients as well right another thing as well before rounds you would have come early to see the patients so it all depends as well with um what time your consultant comes if your consultant comes at 6 a.m. at 7 a.m., you have to be there from way before, even though you are slated to be there 8 to 4, <laughs> quote unquote. Um, you have to be there before your consultant to see all the patients or before your resident to see all the patients. And every rotation is different. You'll learn every consultant is different and all of that, right? So what to expect? <clears throat> um, duty now. So that's what to expect for the regular day. Duty now lasts from 4 um, till 8 a.m. in the morning. So 4 to 8 a.m. in the morning, um, you would have seen all the admissions, anything to be done with the patients in the night, you would do that. And then you'd continue the next day, 8 to 4 again. So it's 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. regular day. Then duty is 4 p.m. to 8 a.m. the next morning. And then after that, it's 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's when you're free to go home. So I wanted to make a video about, you know, advice on how to get through medical internship. All right. Um, the first one, the first advice I would give is to take care of you. And I took that from my personal experience. Make sure you eat. Trust me, they called me Miss No Meals because I missed no meals. I ensured that I ate. At all times, I had my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner. Okay, there were times when it was, you know, hard to say the least to do that because you're so busy and you're running from here to there. But trust me. It can be done. It can be done. I miss one and two um, days where the timing is off, but ensure that you eat, right? The next one is to ensure that you sleep. <laughs> you may have duties. You may have admission. There are some nights where you just can't sleep, to be very honest. But whenever you can do sleep, don't be on your phone and be... Oh, see distractions? Not the time for it not the time for it okay so sleep eat the next one i would say is to exercise i tried my best to exercise i tried my best to exercise during um easier rotations in the morning i tried to exercise and i ensured that i went out with my friends or with like leisure time so i ensured that i went out with like um co-interns we did something because how else will you survive like you can't just be working 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 and trust me medical internship is very stressful super stressful right so some of these things are dependent on you the advice that i'm giving you right the next one is to stay away from distractions one of the things that i loved was that i moved away from home meaning from my family from most people who know me which means that I didn't have much distractions of people saying, hey, let's go out or let's do this. Because first of all, I'm a mom. I need to ensure that all the time that I have, which is sometimes one hour, I spend it with my daughter and I give her all the attention. But just imagine 
if somebody never went through internship they're not gonna understand that you don't have the time a doctor told me recently that you know when she tells people that she's on duty every night or that she doesn't have the time that they don't believe her they think she's lying that she's always working you're always working you always don't have the time and i know there's a saying that says what people find time for what they want to yes and i'm finding time only for my daughter i don't have any more time for anybody else and that's the truth right so stay away from distractions so i i never i never computed it like this like to say oh i'm not gonna i'm gonna request a hospital away from home because i don't want any distractions that's not what i thought of but it ended up being like that right <clears throat> the next one is you know staying focused just focus on the goal it will not last forever it's internship it, what what i what we what i did for the whole of the internship was eight o'clock must come four o'clock must come four o'clock must come for a regular day so it will end by eight o'clock when it's duty duty will end by you know yeah i just did that and the eight o'clock came until the whole year was finished who knew yeah and you just do what you came there to do and you don't become bitter don't let it another advice that i got from another co-intern she said you know don't let it make you bitter don't let it make you angry don't let it change you how i got through that when i had residents or other co-interns or just staff that were terrible um to say the least and toxic i would just think about it and say misery loves company and it's so sad that you are miserable because you're miserable because your life is miserable so you're trying to make me miserable no 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 honey that's not gonna happen here so i never really um allowed that to get to me and i would and i would um vent to those around me who were going through the same thing right another thing as well i remember i had a boss that i totally couldn't stand but he gave me some advice he said when you come to work leave your like home problems at the gate and pick up your work problems and when you leave work leave your work problems here and pick up your home problems and go home so try to separate it something that i did i had a work phone and a personal number and it helped me because i I literally attached work to that chip <laughs> when I turned it off it was off that's it I had no calls coming in I had nothing to do about talking about work or anything like that so that was good for me and um, yeah I could separate both of them so I wasn't taking home the home stress you know so don't let it get you bitter just to recap that one don't let it get you bitter stay focused and separate the work from your home life because to take it home trust me you don't want to do that the next one is to be kind everybody's tired everybody's exhausted in the healthcare sector especially in covid i remember working oh my gosh working in this covid time it's so rough everybody's having it rough so many patients oxygen shortage you're in ppe it's hot you are cover you have on your 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 um cap you have on your face mask you have on your face shield you have on the um coat right and you have on the the what you call it the um shoe cover and you're fully clothed plus a second layer and it's hot and you have to be seen patients doing your to-do list doing everything trust me it's a miserable environment but it pays to just take a breath be kind everybody is feeling it the next thing is to stay humble i can never get this whole i'm a doctor so i whatever i can never get it um being rude and being and not being humble and just being chill because why i don't know but the other side of that coin is sometimes when you're kind and you're down to earth people take advantage <laughs> um you try to be nice to everybody and then another person will just see you and um they want to take a step or they want to say certain things to you or whatever mm -mm. Mm -mm. you know uh so it's about striking that balance of being kind but not being a pushover yeah <laughs> right um and quit that antiquated mindset when you move on 
from internship i know this is after internship but when you move on from internship to be like i went through it and i suffered so the next person must suffer too i totally don't believe in that i totally hate that point of view you can make it easier for somebody else not, i'm not talking about doing the work or whatever but if somebody treated you so harshly you don't have to do the same right so just treat others with respect so that all of those that i listed they were based on us like you personally you can do those but there are two that i realized that helped me through internship that i couldn't have done internship the way i did without them and that was family and friend support all my parents are with me every weekend basically assisting me with my daughter and everything trust me my family my in-laws would come by as well so yeah that was when i'm on call and i can't be there with her they're there that was everything um teamwork let me talk about this one now this one is very close to my heart just like the family support and um i remember when i was on the rotation obstetrics and gynecology and it was so rough we would never leave by four but the team that i had worked in such synchronicity and they would never leave the work over for the next person who was on duty so for example if i was on duty and there were like 20 patients to be admitted everybody was being admitted so there was no day that i really left for or anybody left four o'clock when we were supposed to leave because everybody was ensuring that the next person who was on had a good duty it was everything um if you had some business to take care of them on the road you'd be covered if you're like i'm gonna eat they're like go and eat you would do the same thing for them trust me and I can call them names because they were they were everything. Trust and believe. Yeah. So my parents, everything. And so, you know, when you have other shoulders to lie on, you realize that, yeah, this actually work out. This, it can happen. Yeah, you know, that was everything. The teamwork, I remember. Um, the, the persons on that specific rotation were like Dr. Sims, Dr. Hanley, Dr. Villa Fonte, Dr. McCarty, Dr. Lindsay, Dr. Um, McIntosh, people, Dr. Smith, people who just really were there and they were just pushing and just, yeah, getting the work done. I loved that. Trust me. It was everything. It made my internship, those people made my internship so much better. Dr. Hartley, Dr. Wright, yeah, man. And um, so shout out to those people who made my internship great. Um, the next one and last, but certainly not least, this should be number one is God. God gave me the strength every single day because trust me. Um, there were times I cried through internship. I definitely cried, but God knew what I needed. My order of internship was like surgery then obstetric and gynecology, then medicine, then pediatrics. Um, surgery, I had the best residents. They know themselves. The best, just the best residents. And um, it was, COVID was, there was a surge of COVID at that time. So that was rough and we got through and they taught us and everything. Obstetric and gynecology, I had the, I had the best team, as I said. Medicine, no, the next wave of COVID came in and trust and believe. That was rough and then pediatrics pediatrics oh pediatrics for me was rough because it's it's like because it's kids everybody's so uptight and um you're being watched you're under a microscope i hate to work in environments like that but i learned a lot and um i can't say i would change anything as it relates to internship as a whole more than the antiquated system of i was treated poorly so you should be treated poorly too i saw that i saw that but you know um for the most part it, it wasn't so prevailing it wasn't a prevailing thing another thing i re i loved about the hospital that i am personally at um i love the fact that i was in an environment that they didn't like the nurses weren't against the doctors and the doctors weren't against the nurses some hospitals i realized that that's the culture but i'm realizing that at the hospital that i was at mm -mm. for the most part everybody got along and everybody worked together so yeah i really really appreciated that 
really appreciated that so yeah um and yeah so i'll leave those 10 with you you know take care of yourself um family and friend support and teamwork um stay away from distractions stay focused be kind stay humble quit the antiquated idea of i was i struggled so you're gonna struggle too or the next person coming up um you know behind me has to struggle and put god first your devotions yes because trust me that got me through that gave me the strength to go through have a good one happy new year again and all the best whether you're doing medical internship or anything else i hope this ad but these advices were very very um helpful to you yeah have a good one